What's up, everybody? It's Robert from Kapwing, and I've been doing a lot of work on our Kapwing community Discord server lately. And one thing I've realized is that we don't really have any cool custom emojis in our Discord yet. So um, first off, this is an open invite. Come over, join the Discord. We love talking about making videos, making content, and this is your open invite. I'll put a link down in the description for that. But today we're gonna talk about how to create custom Discord emojis. Now this is a super easy thing to do with Kapwing and let's just jump right in and see how it's done. So I'm gonna start by going to kapwing.com studio and I've got a couple images that I know I wanna use as emojis. I've got this deep fried crying laughing guy, real classic. And then I've got a photo of my coworker Reed that I think would be funny because Reed is in our Discord. So, you know, two different types of emojis that I think would fit well. So let's start with deep fried laughing guy. So I'll upload that image into Kapwing and here I am. So first I'm gonna go ahead and resize my canvas to the largest size Discord allows for an emoji and that's gonna be 128 by 128. And the resize button is just right up here in your output. Now that that's resized, I'm ready to erase the background with our erase background tool and get this thing ready to upload into Discord. So first I'll just click on my image and then you'll see up here in the top right, there's an erase button. So I'm gonna click erase. Now I have two options. I can either use the magic wand tool or I can use the eraser tool. So for this one, since the image is a white background and it doesn't look like it's gonna be too complicated, the magic wand should be great. So I've got my magic wand selected. I'll just click once here in the white and it looks like an almost perfect cutout of my emoji. So I'll just click remove pixels and done. And there it is. You see the uh, checkered background there indicating that this is a transparent background. So I can just go ahead and publish. Kapwing should instantly publish that. And wow, there it is, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna download that guy, deep fried laughing. Then I'm gonna go over here into Discord. I'll right click on our server, server settings, and then I'll go to emoji. Now from here, I can click the upload emoji button up here. And I've got my deep fried laughing guy right here. So open and there it is. I'm gonna rename it to like deep fried joy. Seems like a decent name, I guess. Okay, close out. And then I will go do a little test here and see if it works. So clicking on the emoji button here, I'll search for deep fried, there it is. And let's spam a bunch of these in the chat right now. Awesome, so that emoji is showing up just like I expected. So let's do this one more time for a slightly more complex image in Kapwing. So we'll go back to our studio. And this time let's drag that image of Reed in there. Now this is an excellent image of my coworker Reed from the high school era, I believe. So, you know, it should be fun to uh, goof around and have this in our Discord. So let me resize my canvas to that 128 by 128, get the size right. And then if I click on read here, I can uh, click lock ratio and that'll bring the image back to the original size. Um, so I click on my image now and then I will click erase again. Now this image is gonna be a little more complex. It's got this brick wall background behind him. There's, um, you know, it looks like some trim on this wall and maybe a doorway. So this one isn't gonna be quite as simple as a cutout. So for this, I can use both the magic wand and I can consider this erase tool. So the way this erase tool works is like your kind of classic paintbrush you would have in Photoshop. You just click an area and it gets rid of it. So see I'm dragging around here and I'm really just erasing the background by hand. So you can also adjust the size of your eraser so you can get a little more finite with the detail there. And then another cool thing is you're able to zoom in and out as you're doing this on your image. So if you wanna get really close to get into the details there, right around the edge of his head, I can do that as well. So what I'm gonna do right here, guys, is I'm gonna speed up the video. You'll see me kind of do this really fast. But um, yeah, this is the eraser tool. So we'll hop back in as soon as I'm done with this image. All right, guys, so I am done with my cutout now. Um, I've completely erased the background from around Reed. Now something I wanna draw some attention to here is if I zoom in, you'll notice this isn't a perfect cutout. There's some jaggy edges here around his fingers. You'll see up around his head, it's also kind of jaggy. 
But you know, you don't have to be a perfectionist about this. This is gonna be a very small image once it makes it into Discord and if there is an emoji. So you're really not gonna notice these tiny little details when you're seeing it in Discord. So knowing that, I'm gonna go ahead and click done. So there's Reed, he's ready to go. Um, it looks like my background in Kapwing is set to white, so I'll make sure that's transparent as well. And our uh, emoji of Gib, or uh, excuse me, of Reed, can't speak, is ready. So I will go ahead and publish that. And there's our tiny little Reed. I will download. And then it's gonna be the exact same process, guys. You'll go back into Discord, right click on your server, server settings, emoji. And then I've actually already added this cutout of Reed. So we can go spam that in the chat now. Let's see. Beautiful. So this is just a really simple way to remove backgrounds from your images. And they don't just have to be for Discord. These can be applied to Slack. Um, even Twitch emotes could be made this way. So um, just a quick little primer for you guys on how to erase the backgrounds and quickly make these uh, Discord emojis. I know there's a lot of big libraries of Discord emojis out there, but sometimes you just need someone you know. You need a read or you need a deep fried crying laughing guy. And that's what we're here to provide for you. So check it out. It's kapwing.com studio, that erase tool. It's been saving uh, my day lately trying to do work for our Discord and I hope it can help you too. This has been Robert from Kapwing. If you found this useful, if you were able to make some emojis for your Discord, drop us a like down below. We're always doing more tutorials like this. Every way that we can find to apply Kapwing to different technologies, Discord, Twitch, TikTok, you name it, we're making tutorials about it. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I'll see you next time.